Okay, so I was in the Dollar Tree today and I saw this really cute Easter bonnet and tote bag. And I thought, I have to make something with this. This is so cute. I think I can make something nice for the house. So I was thinking maybe I could do a Easter bonnet wreath to go on the front door or a tote bag with Easter flowers in it to hang from the door. Uh, but I can't decide, so I think I might use both. I might do some kind of display that looks like that. has flowers coming out and, and an Easter bonnet hat. And uh, that'll be a really cute, uh, nice Easter welcoming for my door. I also saw these silk flowers um, in Dollar Tree. I also found um, these really bright, vibrant tulips at Michael's. They were on sale outside, like half price. So I grabbed these because this has so much color. It goes great with the, the violet. I also picked up some ribbon material. So let's see what we can make with this. Okay, so I'm going to start by figuring out exactly what I'm going to do, what I'm going to use for what. And I think um, I'm going to do some yellow tulips, maybe the yellow and the purple tulips sort of flowing out of the bag. And maybe some of these um, these eggs also coming out of the bag. So it'll be a, a little tote with, with flowers and Easter eggs. And on the bonnet, um, I don't want to put too much because I already have lots of flowers here. I think maybe I'll just use these little round um, flowers, just a few of them up here. And I'll just maybe put ribbon around the, um, the bonnet and maybe I'll hang the, um, um, have the, the ribbon go around the bonnet, make a big bow and then um, use the ribbon to hang from the door. Okay, so let's start putting that together. So I think I got the tote the way I want it. I want the flowers to look pretty much like this. So I'm going to use the wire that I have to sort of um, tie the, the flowers in to the bonnet so they're secure. Okay, so I'm going to take my wire and just sort of poke it through the holes close to the top of the, the tote and um, just sort of weave it in to the toe just to keep the flowers in place. So it's going through the through the bag, out through the other side, and in again it's almost like sewing, but I'm just gonna do this just so that the flowers will stay put inside so they won't pop up or fall out. Okay, so you see I just sort of wired um, the bag closed so that this stays in a little better. And I have a little extra wire here. I'm going to use this to attach the bag to the hat where I want it. So I think I want it about that, in that position.
since I have these little stalks here, I'm going to also wrap the wire around the stalks and the, um, and the handle. That will make it a little more sturdy. Twist tie that. Now let's decorate the bonnet. So I'm using the sheer violet ribbon to suspend the bonnet and the tote from the door. I cut a long piece and tied knots on each end. Since the sheer ribbon is so thin, I'm tying knots so that the wire has something to hold on to when I attach it to the tote and the bonnet. So I'm going to tack the um, wire to the, the ribbon to the hat right here in the center of the hat. Okay, so let's go see how this is going to look on the door. Okay, so I have a little nail that's um, at the top of the door and I just tied a little knot and put the, the ribbon on the nail. So here is my Easter bonnet and tote wreath. So for about a half an hour of your time you can have a colorful Easter display for your front door.